Yeah. Um, so time to start uh, today. And uh, first of all, thank you, uh, Sydney, and uh, for uh, uh, inviting me uh, today. Um, we're going to develop Google Action uh, for Kruger uh, National Park. Um, and as we like to call it at animalvoice.io, uh, wildlife conservation through uh, conversation. So uh, let's start with a short, short uh, background story first, um, and then we're going to build a, a connection. Um, um, so to start a story, uh, a little bit more than one year ago um, in January, just before the COVID-19 uh, crisis, um, I, I went to uh, Gabon and I went to one of my favorite uh, places to the Congo uh, Basin. I really love this jungle. And this was actually a picture I took myself up there uh, full of uh, forest elephants. And I think it took me like 10 days of hiking through Langoy by National Park um, to arrive at this place. And uh, oh, it was just stunning. Uh, the forest elephants were up there, but also the gorillas. Um, but before arriving up there, I had to do an hike for 10 days. And the first forest elephant I actually saw uh, was shot dead and it was not the smelly one that was just shot dead i think it was like six seven weeks uh, before uh, but i realized okay um, this is probably not something we we like to see but also not something we would like to see happening to the world and i thought okay what can i do and one of the things i learned in the past is that you always have skills or capabilities and i think everyone in this room has this unique skills and capabilities where you can do a little bit more do the extra mail um, and that's when the, uh, when the mission uh, started, uh, uh, to educate families about wildlife uh, diversity. So actually, educate young uh, uh, families, the young generation, so that they also start helping protecting our beautiful uh, planet. And yes, uh, we're doing that together with uh, voice apps. Um, I'm not alone on this mission, and you're also welcome to join. Uh, but I'm doing this together with uh, Bas Ploeg. Bas Ploeg is just an amazing uh, guy. He's a social entrepreneur. This time he's uh, working on, on more a nature kind of uh, uh, field, but it could also be health or whatever. And actually what he tries to achieve is every time uh, a better tomorrow and he uses uh, technology for that. Um, I think he's also in this room uh, up here. Um, and you can ask him everything about the uh, parrots and he will answer uh, <laughs> your questions about it. Uh, myself, uh, the story of the previous picture. Yes, it is true. That's uh, a picture on the hike uh, to this bay. Um, in the last five or 10 years, I think I visited around 50 national parks in Africa. I went every year up there. So this could be my first year in uh, around eight, nine years that I'm not going to Africa because of the COVID-19 crisis. So let's do it a little bit different and try to build something uh, for uh, Kruger Park today. Um, my own background in voice, uh, probably a little bit complicated, but I will try to, uh, to explain uh, to you. Um, so on Monday till Thursday, I'm head of Greenhouse uh, Conversational, which is a WPP uh, uh, company. WPP is the uh, largest uh, media company in the world. And up there, we create, uh, next to chatbots, also voice apps for Dutch A brands. Uh, so think about uh, the Donald Duck magazine, uh, but also a big telecom or automotive uh, uh, brands or Unilever, for example. Um, as an example, one of our uh, 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 actions of last year, that was the Donald Duck uh, case, and it has around 100,000 users a month in the Netherlands. Um, 100,000, I think it's a lot, especially if you think about the Netherlands, which is with 16, 17 million people and voices just starting up there. Um, so that's my Monday till Thursday uh, adventure. On the evening hours, I'm doing something else. I'm most of the time working on voice app uh, discovery.com. Uh, um, I created some voice apps uh, uh, in the English language, uh, which are doing a pretty good job. Uh, one of them is what's my zodiac sign uh, where you can ask uh, the latest uh, horoscope and the other one is hangman of the day and i think if you ask today to the google assistants i want to play a game it will be somewhere in the top three up there um, but still meaning i have something to do uh, on friday and that's also uh, today so we, today we're going to talk about animalvoice.io and uh, what you already noticed um, we try to educate families about wildlife uh, conversation uh, conservation um, we're working with our first client. Um, unfortunately, I cannot talk about it before we launch. We will launch somewhere in mid-April. Um, but Buzz and I had a, had a dream client and talked to them, and they said yes. Um, I think you all know this brand. Um, feel free in the comments to uh, to guess which brand it is. Um, if multiple people uh, say it, I will uh, give you uh, a signal that probably you're right. Um, 
So that is the background. Today we're going to build the uh, uh, Google Action uh, uh, for uh, Kruger Park. Uh, what is a Google Action? Um, uh, in the end, you can create apps on these uh, voice assistants. So for example, the Google Assistant or an Amazon uh, Alexa. Uh, on Alexa, you build skills. On Google Assistant, you build actions. But in the end, they are all voice apps. Um, but then the question is, why would you build a voice app for a national park or a wildlife organization or maybe a zoo? Uh, I think there's a big reason for it. Because if you look at the behavior on voice assistance, you can see the following. Uh, oh, that's actually the slide afterwards. Um, I will show you later on. Um, so what we'll do, what I just explained, we will build an interactive voice experience uh, to get in touch, engage, and educate the next generation about wildlife uh, conservation. So it should look a little bit like this at the start. Um, why is it that interesting? Because families are voice power users, especially millennials are active on, uh, on Google Assistant. Um, there are around 500 million unique users a month using Google Assistant, but most of the time these are families. And if there are families, their kids are always asking for two things about games and about animal sounds. So what if we could connect these two together and build something that has, is related to it. And that could be a wildlife organization, a national park like Kruger Park or Serengeti. Uh, but it could also be a zoo, for example. Um, so yeah, um, I cannot tell you about our first client yet, but we built a, a demo project. Um, uh, it's called Animal Ranger. So if you would like to uh, uh, test it yourself, uh, feel free uh, to do so. Um, you can just say, hey, Google, talk to uh, Animal Ranger. No, I have to watch out if Google oh, it's not going on. Okay. Um, it's an interactive game. There are 50 animals involved. And you can also hear the animal sounds, for example, of a tiger or a lion. You get all kinds of uh, true false statements to play a quiz. Uh, there's a true story in between. Uh, and that's actually where Buzz is always uh, be part of it. He's really good in that part. Um, um, all kind of UX sounds, uh, but also daily questions and so on. But let's um, try it out. Um, this is Lotta. Uh, it's the girlfriend of Boss who is, was the first user uh, to test it. So uh, uh, that's here. Hey, Google, talk, talk to, to Animal Ranger. Ranger. All, all right, right. getting Animal Ranger. A very warm, warm welcome, welcome student. student. Congratulations, Congratulations on making it this far in our exclusive training program full of wildlife. Time for your first test to become a qualified animal ranger. We will be traveling through various landscapes and encounter all sorts of wild animals. On this crazy journey, you'll be tested on your knowledge of the animal kingdom. Two, three, or four. Two. Amazing. Amazing. So, we so we can have, have two rangers, rangers after, after today. today. Let's, Let's find, find out what you are truly made of. Round, round one is about to start. start. In this, this round, round, you can receive 10 points, points for the right answer. answer. So, so hop in the, the truck, truck and let's, let's fire, fire up the up engine. engine. So what you just have heard of seeing, um, um, you see sort of the start of the game. Um, uh, and in the end, you say, how many players do join? You get a true experience. So you hop in the, in the, uh, in the uh, Jeep, you hear the uh, engine of the Jeep actually, and every round we go to do something different. So for example, we can go on a walking safari, actually step in a canoe and see all the animals from a, from a water perspective. Uh, in the end, you get uh, questions about animals. So I'll just show you one example of there. So so that 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 you know, and let's, let's start, start round, round two. two. In, in this, this round, round, you can, can receive 15, 15 points, points for every, every correct, correct answer. answer. It is, it is not, not easy, easy to, to spot, spot an, an animal. animal. Quick, Quick, look, look to, your to your left, left the polar, polar bear, bear and the tiger. tiger. For Ranger, Ranger 1, which, which animal, animal do you choose? choose? The, the polar, polar bear, bear or the tiger? tiger. Hmm, uh, the tiger. The tiger, the tiger is always a good choice. choice. Tigers, Tigers are incredibly, incredibly fast. fast. They, can they can run up to 65 kilometers an hour. True or false? Mm, that's true. Awesome, awesome work. work. 15, 15 points. points. 
I feel that it is our lucky day today. The third game uh, continues. In the end, you have three rounds. Uh, they play together, so uh, six questions up there, and every time you get points. So you have a sort of uh, gamification. Um, and of course, you can play it uh, multiple times because we have enough uh, true false statements up there. Um, I think always important to notice is we think a lot about the, the speakers, the smart speakers, but actually most users are on mobile uh, phones. So uh, also think about the design of uh, uh, for mobile. Um, at the moment, we just launched, I think around six, seven weeks ago, we have around 25,000 users uh, right now. It's rated with a 4.8, and here's an example of someone who uh, truly liked the experience and also liked it for, uh, for families. So that was our goal, um, and we'd like to achieve a little bit more of coming years, so uh, let's grow uh, with these numbers. Um, but yeah, now it's time to actually build uh, an action ourselves. Um, I think if you want to learn it, it's always good to, uh, to use Code Labs from Google. Uh, they have a lot of examples, so just Google it, uh, Code Labs and Action Builder, and there are some examples. Um, Action Builder is the uh, platform from Google which is uh, directly connected to the Google Assistant, uh, which makes it really uh, a really nice platform uh, to build on. Um, so let's show you how. Um, um, yeah. So if you start a project, you have to go to consoleactions.google.com and you can uh, start a new project. I already did. Um, and you can choose how you want to build it. And I always like this environment because you can also uh, already use templates and actually learn how Google build it and use this information for your own uh, voice app. Um, this time I'm going for a custom uh, voice app because I, I like to build it from the ground up. Um, but what I already said, uh, you can use all kinds of different projects. So, for example, a Firestore project so that you learn how to connect it to a database and so on. Uh, but for now, let's uh, start building a project from blank. Um, yeah, so if you uh, set up the project, uh, you arrive at this page. So, I created a project like which is called Chatbot Africa uh, Summit. Um, and you can start developing. Um, so the first question you actually got is, okay, what is the name of the action? So let's do that. Yeah, you can choose up here. Um, let's call it Kruger National Park. Um, that's the first uh, thing. So later on, we can just say, hey, Google, talk to Kruger National Park, and it will start the voice app. Um, the second thing you can choose, you can choose a voice. So let's go for the female voice right now. Um, but depending on the experience, you have to find out which is the right voice for you. Um, and you have something else, and that's called built-in intents. So one example is the play game intent. So meaning that if people ask, OK, I want to play a game, you get a sort of top ranking, the same as in, uh, in search on Google. Um, and if you have the right game optimized in the right way and people like it, you get higher in that list. So yeah, I think we're going to develop a game. So uh, let's uh, check this uh, uh, in um, and save it. I hope we can uh, uh, own the name Kruger National Park. Yeah, so as far as I can see, it's saved. Uh, in fact, I'm not sure, but Kruger National Park could be a name that is actually a brand uh, a verified name. So if you want to connect it, of course, only the brand name itself can connect to it, and you have to verify, and Google will also control it. Um, so yeah, we have to set up. Um, and one of the things you first do is the invocation. So people can say, hey, Google, talk to Kruger National Park, or say, play a game. And up there, um, the experience starts. So let's click on it. So what happens, people say, talk to Kruger National Park, and they arrive up here. Uh, and at this spot, um, you can ask, actually add your welcome message. So now it is saying uh, hello, but let's do something different. Welcome to Kruger National Park. Uh, you can do the same for text. Welcome to Kruger. So why is it important to have a speech and a text uh, uh, message? Uh, the text message is actually seen on the mobile phone, and the speech message I will show you later on. You can also add all kind of sound effects uh, to it. Okay. Let's save it. Um, so we're going to play a game, I think. So uh, maybe we go on a, on a safari tour. 
So the next uh, question is actually how many people go on the safari tour and want to join uh, the game drive. Now it's going to the end of the conversation. Um, that actually means we need to connect it to something else. So we need to add it. Uh, and that's called a scene. So let's add a scene. And that's uh, the number of uh, uh, safari uh, yeah. number of players are going to join. Adding it right now. Yeah, OK, that's connected. Um, yeah, let's find out at the main invocation, we can connect it to the player um, scene. Yeah, that's possible. Yeah. So actually, this is really simple. You can just click now on the transition uh, scene, which is players. And up here, you can add some more information. So uh, for example, how many uh, passengers will join the safari today? So let's find out. And now, of course, you need to build the first intelligence uh, up here. Um, and intelligence probably meaning up here that you need to understand the number that people are saying. So how many passengers will, uh, will join? Uh, for that reason, you always need to make an, uh, an intent um, uh, to truly understand what people are saying. Um, so let's call it the number of players that are joining today. Yeah. And up here, you can say, for example, three passengers, uh, the one player, just depending on how people are saying it. Um, the benefit this time, the number is already in the system intent from uh, Google. So what you can do actually is call it and player, players, and just save it. Um, that's a benefit. It's already a system intent. If it's not there, you first need to uh, add a type. So um, for example, the true false answers you can add. And you can add the information up here. So you can say, for example, true. People can say it in different ways. True, correct, and so forth. Um, and you can add the intelligence up there. And you can use it at the custom intents later on. Um, for now, um, let's add the uh, number of player uh, intent to the uh, player scene. So hopefully it works. Yes, it works. Um, and it's meaning that people, if they say two or three, we can understand it, um, and we bring it to a new uh, place. That's called a slot filling scene. And it actually means you can bring it to uh, transition, uh, transit it. Um, so up here, it automatically adds uh, a new scene. And that's basically how the story goes. Um, and in this place, you can add the information of the intent. Um, so yeah, this is a way how you can build uh, 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 a conversation. Uh, I think we have to uh, round up, uh, but that means you can add here, for example, the parameter, how many people uh, are joining. So today, uh, joining. That's basically it to build a really uh, easy uh, uh, first uh, interactions. Um, there's one thing else I, I really want to share with you and then uh, uh, I think we're there. There's something I already mentioned before that you can also add all kind of sound effects that is uh, created by SSML. Uh, and this is just an example of it. And this adds a line sounds to the welcome uh, message. Um, so let's try out if we can edit. Yeah. OK, save it. And this is the way you could start building your first uh, Google Action using the, uh, uh, the uh, Action Builder. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Add me on LinkedIn or just shoot me a message uh, up here. Uh, I see something still goes wrong because the game intent is still empty. That's true. Um, Save it up here, now it should work. Uh, but that's basically it. Um, if you want to learn more, 
uh, follow us on uh, LinkedIn. You can follow uh, animalvoice.io on LinkedIn or just follow my, uh, uh, my personal boss. And uh, yeah, you can uh, see uh, what we're going to achieve the upcoming months. And if you want to build further on, on the Kruger National Park, just, uh, just let us know. So uh, thank you. And I would say it actually works. Yeah. Are there any questions left from your side? So, round up. That's fine. How it really works. All right. All right. Here's the Here's test, the test version, version of Kruger, Kruger National, National Park. Park. Welcome, Welcome at, Kruger at Kruger National, National Park. Park. How many, How many passengers, passengers will join, will the, join safari the safari today? today? Let's say three. Sorry, Sorry I, didn't I didn't catch, catch that. that. Probably Can you try again? Try that? With the uh, intent uh, recognition yet, uh, but uh, we should build on on this. So uh, thank you uh, for today, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day at uh, at the chatbot uh, summit. Uh, uh, so uh, thanks.